Today, ladies and gents, I'm going to show you how to create a uh, stretchy panel. Uh, so this is a uh, website uh, template that I did uh, a while back, and um, <clears throat> I decided that instead of this section here, uh, I want to put in one or two little stretchy panels. So what I'm going to do is, first thing I'm going to do is draw a nice little rectangle over the area that I want to cover. That's about right. So that's the size that I want. Now I'm going to go ahead and move off to the side so I'm not worrying about that too much, about interfering with any of these things too much. So first thing I'm going to do is draw a nice little text box in, actually I'm just going to draw Yeah, a line of text instead, just like this. Instead of drawing the box, I'm going to draw it as a single line. Now, the first thing I'm going to do is type some text. And it doesn't really matter what I type, but I just want one line. Now, the other thing I'm going to do is, this is pretty tiny, so I'm going to bump up the size a bit. Uh, maybe 12, maybe 15, 14 points. That looks all right. I'm going to change it to white. So it shows up better on this background. This is supposed to uh, jive a little bit with my uh, chalkboard background here. So now that I've got this, I'm going to nudge it down a bit. And then I'm going to decrease the size of this. Now what I'm doing here is I'm making sure that the amount of space on all sides is the amount of space that I want after the text is uh, extended. Right? So whenever this, uh, whenever I write in more lines of text, what's going to happen is this uh, box is going to extend with it and it's going to extend down, but there will always be this uh, border of a box around the, uh, the text. So now that I have just my rectangle um, selected, the first thing I want to do is convert this to editable shapes. Range, convert to editable shapes, or control shift S. Yeah? Now that I've done that, I'm going to give this a name. And I will call it, um, I will call it, uh, box BG for box background. Add that name. And then I'm going to deselect that and select the text. Make sure that I have it. One text column. And I'm going to, have to apply this box text and add that name. Once I have those two done, I'm going to select both of them. And I'm going to go to the names gallery. Now I don't have yeah, here I have the names gallery shown. And I'm going to go ahead and pin that for a minute. And I've got these two selected. And here you'll see it box BG and box text. Now I'm going to change this uh, drop down thing from exports to stretches. Yeah. And then I am going to change the. I always forget which one of these is, but uh, I think it's the um, the background is the one that stretches. Normally you get a pop up, I think. Oh, that's what I did. I need to do this too. I need to click this <clears throat> this little uh, triangle over here on the side. So, so the box extend box background when which selected. Uh, named objects will make box background extend while the box text makes the background extend. And then I want to come down here and choose horizontally. I don't want it to do anything, so that's uh, none. But vertically, I want it to extend. So once I've got this selected, the box text selected, as what is going to make the background extend, and I don't want it to extend horizontally, so there's none here, but I do want it to extend vertically, so I have extend here. Once that's done, I click OK. And now, 
if I were to go through and hit control. Ah, it's control shift L. <clears throat> so when I do that and uh, and I get some of this uh, line text here, I can go ahead and continue to do this. And the more text that I add here, the more this box extends, right? So, and if I take some of this away, yeah. I don't know how much I want to take away, but we'll do that much for now. And I'm going to get rid of this and this and that for now. And then I can take this. Oh, undo. Another vital step. Control G, group the two. And then I can place this here. Yeah. OK. Put another one in here. But for this one, I want to. different text in. Yeah, there you go. I've got my stretchy stretchy text panels. So I hope that you found that uh, interesting and helpful. Um, I do have a, uh, a written, there is a written uh, um, version of this on one of the Zarzone workbooks. Uh, I'll try and find that and link that on the video.